I want to show you the new word form, form functionality within GP2010. There's two reasons that I really like this. Number one, I can make my form, whether it's an invoice, an order, or a PO, look exactly the way that I want to because I'm using the functionality within Word to produce that document. Most importantly to me, it allows me to add graphics to this report that I could not do in Report Writer. So I'm going to show you that. And also, what I like about it too is I can have as many different templates as I want. So if I wanted a different invoice, for example, for every one of my customers, I could have as many different templates and I could assign it to each customer along the way. So let's take a look at it. The first thing, let's take a look at all the reports that are available. If I go here, I can see all the reports that are available out of the box that I can use in Word to customize. You can see them there, the sales and the purchase orders. And now let's look at a specific report here. Go to Template Maintenance, and I've got a number of them already set up here. The ones with the asterisk are the ones that come with the system out of the box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new one. So I'm going to hit New. I'm going to use a template. In fact, I'm going to use a template that comes out of the box. I'm going to create that, and then I'm going to modify that one. So hit Modify here. It's going to bring up Word. It's going to allow me to customize it the way that I want to. And there's a couple of things that are added here. If I go to the Developer tab, which I can invoke within Word, and you'll see the field list from Dynamics. Let me click on that. And you can see here that I've got all the fields that are available to put onto this form. I've got these different areas. I've got the related fields down here. So I can drag and drop these items onto this new form. But what I really like is the ability to add graphics. So I'm going to add a picture here. And this is a fairly complicated picture. If you used to report writer, you can just imagine what this would have looked like in report writer. So we're going to make that a little larger. And now I'm going to save this template. So I'm going to save it in a special folder I made for my modified Word templates. So let's do that. Save it out here under Word Forms. And I'm going to make this one for Aaron Fitz. I'll make it easy to identify. I'm going to save that. Now I need to go back into Dynamics and I'm going to load that template up into this area. So I'm going to hit the plus sign here. I'm going to find that template. I believe it's right here. I'm going to pull that in. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to assign this to a company and also assign it to a customer or a class of customers if I wish. So I'll highlight this form here. I'll go to Assign, assign it to the company first off. If I want to make that the default, I can hit select, Set Default, but I'm not going to do that. Then I'm going to assign it to a customer. And I'm going to assign it to a specific customer. So let's look up that customer right now. It's going to be Aaron Fitz. And insert that right here. And I'm going to save that. Now, let's go back and run an invoice transaction. We'll print that out and we'll see what it looks like. I'm going to go to Sales Transaction Entry. I'm going to look up an invoice. I know that I already have one here. So let's take a look at it. Here's my invoice. And now I'm going to print that. I'll select the printer icon, select the invoice, and I'm going to print that. I've got an option. I can use the standard or I can use the template that I created just for Aaron Fitz. So I'm going to do that. I'll select the template, hit OK. It's going to open up Word and show me the document, and then I could print it from here. I can also print this out using email, and I'll show that functionality in another video. I can print this also in batches. If I had a number of different invoices in a batch, I could print this. They'd all come up in Word, and I could print this off from here. So you can see that this is a much nicer looking graphic. It would be impossible to show this in Report Writer. And you can see that this is a word form. So I could go back to that template. And I can modify it any way I want to. So I think when you upgrade to GP2010, you're going to really like this new word form functionality.